this month, March, is white, the month of White Day, the time in the, the holiday that is specific to Japan, as far as commercial ho romantic holidays, where guys are expected to give a gift to give a gift of chocolate, generally white chocolate, but not always, to their romantic partners after receiving a similar gift of chocolate in February on Valentine's Day. So for this month, in addition to covering a romantic comedy anime on the Anime Explorations podcast, I figured I might as well cover one on the show as well, and what better time than the week before White Day itself? Or I should say as the episode, the Wednesday closest to when White Day is. And thus, we're covering Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Many romantic comedy anime series use misunderstandings as the focus of their humor. Something is misheard or not told, and it sets up a snowballing series of events. Mesa Nakoku is a classic example of this. Girlfriend, Girlfriend, though, is the exact opposite of that. It is a series based on the fundamental premise of what if people were just a little too open and direct? Our main character, Noya Mukai, I'm probably mangling that, is a somewhat ordinary high school boy who has recently entered high school and has asked his childhood friend, Saki Saki, spelled with different characters for the first and last names, but the same pronunciation for both, to go out with him, and she has said yes. He is a little overly enthusiastic and also a little overly candid and honest, but it's endearing. And then, one of Noya's classmates, Nagas uh, Nagisa Minase, asks Noya out too, and she does so with a bento that she made, which is absolutely delicious. Like, should get a Michelin star delicious. And it turns out that Nagisa has re missed weeks of school in order to hone her culinary skills to this level just for Noya. This moves Noya deeply to his very soul, to such a degree that he just can't say no. But he also doesn't want to break up with a childhood friend, Saki Saki, who he cares about greatly and he does truly love. Nor does he want to cheat on her behind her back, because that would be mean and cruel and he wouldn't want to do that to her. So, Noya has a cunning plan. A plan so cunning you could mistake it for a kitsune. He meets with Saki and Nagisa together and asks, more or less straight out, if they can be in a de facto polyamorous relationship. After Saki reflexively docks Noya the fuck out and gets a moment to talk to Nagisa, she starts to warm up to the idea. Noya is her friend, and she does care about him, and she doesn't want to see him taken away. But Nagisa's cooking is good. Really, really good. And she's sweet and heartwarming, and... Saki's kind of falling for her, too. So, yeah, uh, the cast of Girlfriend, Girlfriend can best be described as a bunch of horny idiots. Yet, in spite of that, there's remarkably little fan service. It's not to like a pair of Hot Springs episodes at the very end of the series that you get what you'd normally expect in terms of fan service for a show like this, in terms of nudity or that sort of thing. Indeed, there's, like, no nudity at all until those last two episodes. There's discussion of sex, frank and forward uh, discussion of it, but nobody actually has it. Nobody also has any of the sexual slapstick of falling into pe of um, guys falling into pe pe women's cleavage or women falling into women's cleavage or any or topic of feel or upskirt panty shots or anything like that. Indeed, it's all shockingly wholesome. Indeed, a lot of the humor here is just everyone overshares loudly and vigorously leading to hilarious overreactions. It's actually kind of honest and refreshing to learn that you can have an absolutely hilarious romantic comedy series based on the core premise of what if just beating around the bush and hinting and insinuating and suggesting um, and implying that we just go out and say what they want and how we feel and st still manage to be hilarious dumbasses. It's a pleasure having a romantic comedy like this, particularly one of the semi-harem variety, where 
There's also like no incest, no significant power imbalances in the relationship. Um, it is cut. There is a degree of skeeziness, but it is a skeeziness with consent sort of, um, no slave dynamics, mass slavery going on in an isekai. It is, well, again, which would fall into the significant power imbalances. It is just a show that finds the right balance between sweet and stupid and horny in the best possible ways. It is a show that I described almost as wholesome horny, where the characters are sexually attracted to each other, but not getting lewd in ways that is common for most fan service rom-coms. We'll get into whether the um, My Dress Up Darling would also fit into this category as well in the relevant podcast. Keep an eye open on the channel for that. But as you want to wish, if you want to watch it now, Girlfriend Girlfriend is currently available for streaming on Crunchyroll. There is a link in the doobly doo. The show has not received a physical release as yet. But at least not that I can find. But the manga has and goes has gone on well beyond where the show wraps up. So if you find yourself reaching the end of the series and want to go further, there will also be links to that as well in the doobly doo. Um, buying anything through those helps to support the show. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. You can also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and in future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Cosmic Few Bucks also helps support the show and it's not a monthly obligation or anything.